She's just had a really, really nice progression, and you know, this this year especially, she's just been running on a whole new level. Um, you know, I mean, at, at every at every distance, the 1500, the 5K, the 10K, you know, she's the run school record, a personal best. You know, one of the top times in the country, quite literally. Um, you know, the the, the fear uh, at at the regional is just those races are just really tactical. You know, so I mean, the times are not usually quick and. Basically, the only way to guarantee yourself a spot is to make sure that you're in that top five in that in your section. The race was like 90 degree heat, very high humidity, and a little bit windy on the back stretch, and nobody wanted to lead, so it was very clumped up. Like the whole field was there through the first about two miles, and then um, one girl took off with about a mile to go, and I was just like, okay, like she's kind of creating a wig. I'm just gonna hop onto that and just hang on. Coming into the last 200 meters, I knew I had it. I knew I'd get a top five spot and I was like, okay, just, just cruise through. You're fine. Save it. Um, but it, it was, it was hard. It was a very, it was probably the hardest 1633 I'll ever run just because of like the quick pace change. And, but I'm very happy that the stress is off. The job is done. I, I knew what I had to do and I was able to do it. That was just kind of the scary part, not knowing like how the race was going to go. But I, I knew I belonged on that line next week. So I'm really happy that I was able to punch my ticket. Plans don't always work out, but so far for her, it, uh, you know, it has. I mean, she's gotten faster every year. Uh, you know, as, as, a, as a freshman, she ran 16, 19, 16, 20, uh, maybe for the 5K. She obviously was an impact player. I mean, from the from the very beginning. In my first year, I definitely wanted to be one of the top scorers. When I went to training camp, it was like kind of nerve-wracking, but pretty exciting, just because like all these new people and you know that you're going to be spending a lot of time with them but you don't really know quite where you fit yet but it was it was a lot of fun I remember that week being like okay like I, I made a good choice like I can see myself having a really good four now five years here. Coach has really set me up over the last four years I think that this year is kind of a culmination of everything we've been working for. One thing that I really value a lot about our relationship is that like coming in he said like something he really values is having open communication between the athlete and the coach and that's something that I think has made us work really well together because if he's I'm questioning something he's doing or if he's not necessarily liking everything I'm doing we have that relationship where it could be like okay like how do we move forward how do we assess what's going on and that's really helped shape me into the athlete I am. I think Danielle was really the third or fourth when she first got here. I mean, on, on a pretty good team, um, but you know, as she's progressed and gotten better and improved, I mean, she's definitely you know, become far and away our number one runner, but you know, more so than that, I mean, it's, it's just the leadership that she brings to the team, the maturity, the work ethic. Um, you know, when you have someone on your team that's running at, at such a high level, it just it just sort of resets the bar, you know, in terms of a what's expected, you know, but also just just what's possible. And so, you know, that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of thing that you know really helps sort of elevate your program overall.